student my name is sumit mehta so today in this lecture we will discuss about hypermetropia and resbiopia so i am starting with hypermetropia okay students so it is also known as far sightedness a person with hypermetropia hypermetropia can see distant objects can see distant objects but cannot see nearby objects distinctly okay students and the near point for the person is farther away from the normal near point that is 25 cm okay so let me tell you how it is so let's say it is human eye let's say this is the normal near point okay and this normal point acts as like and how so these light rays when fall on the eye lens okay they form a image beyond the retina so in myopia it was making before the antenna uh, retina now it is making beyond the retina okay and to correct this device we use a convex lens of appropriate power okay so how we correct this is and this is the lens inside the eye and now the image formed on retina itself okay so this is how by using a convex lens of proper power convex lens of proper power can correct this disease this defect or you can say okay so now students uh, let's move to what is respiopia so in respiopia the power of accommodation of the eye usually decreases with aging so for most of the people the power of accommodation let's say the power of accommodation of the eye usually decreases with aging decreases with aging okay so and for most people for most of the people for most of the people the near point the near point gradually recedes away okay so they find it difficult to see nearby objects comfortably and distinctly without corrective eye glasses 
so they find it difficult to see the nearby objects distinctly distinctly without corrective eye glasses eye glasses okay and this defect is called as respiopia so student by after some age means with aging eye usually decreases accommodation of the eye which we have discussed in the uh, previous lectures on the human eye okay so for most of the people the nearby point gradually recedes away that is why they find it difficult to see the nearby object clearly and sometimes a person may suffer from both myopia and hypermetropia so such person often require biconcave and convex lens means bifocal lens okay and the upper portion of the lens consist of concave lens it facilitates distant vision and the lower portion is convex lens so in some cases the person suffer from myopia and my metro hypermetropia both hyper metropia so in this case the person used concave lens for myopia upper portion of his contact glass made of con concave lens and convex lens for hypermetropia to see the near by objects so upper portion is made up of concave and the lower portion is made up of convex lens so this disease is called as respiopia students so i hope what we have discussed in this lecture hypermetropia and respiopia is pretty clear to you guys and if you have still any doubt or any question then students please do comment in the comment section i will be happy to help you guys there thank you happy learning